Hello guys, I am Angeline Chana and I belong to group camping and today I will share the subtopic in chapter 1 basic concept in assessment of learning. The subtopic is importance of assessment. This is all about how to improve students learning. The well-designed assessment methods provide valuable information about students learning. They tell us what students learn, how well they learn it and where they struggle. For me, this subtopic is so interesting because it guides me as a future educator on ways of passing on the knowledge to students and it can provide evidence of learning. It will also help me in planning of lessons and means of um, getting feedback from students. That's all from chapter 1. Goodbye. Hello guys, I am Princess Kate Pilior and I belong to the group Gi Ampingan. Today, I will share a subtopic in Chapter 2 titled Basic Concept and Assessment of Learning. The subtopic is Productive Uses of Tests. This is all about the test that measures how effective instructional materials are in bringing about intended changes in individuals, teachers, and counselors. And for me, this subtopic interests me greatly because it informs me on how to enhance both my performance and my teaching abilities, most especially in how to take a test effective because through an effective test, it helps the community to understand what the students are learning. Tests also assist me in my future role as an instructor by assisting students in determining their academic and professional futures. Additionally, Assessment assists me in figuring out what people do not know so that as a future educator, I will be aware of what I should take action. Overall, this subtopic helped me realize how important testing is for me as a future teacher to make sure that my lessons are effective and that my students are enthusiastic at learning. Hello guys, good day. I am Marvel Makatambad and I belong to the group Giampingan and today I will share to you a subtopic in Chapter 3, Social, Legal, and Ethical Implications of Test. The subtopic is ethical testing principles. This is all about the five principles of test, the confidentiality, test security, test scores and interpretations, and test publication that presumes an ethical responsible attitude on the part of an examiner and a desire to cooperate on the part of the students. In these principles, mutual trust and respect must be developed. For me, this subtopic is so interesting because as a future educator, this principle serves as a guide for me on how am I going to interpret at the same time protect the test results of my future students in an ethical manner. As I believe, gaining their trust might help me to become a better and ineffective educator to them. So that's all. Thank you. Well, greetings to everyone. I am Shauna Diawe, and is elaborating the point of lesson four, factors influencing tests, instruction, and test performance. All right, factor influencing test development is a sort of a test instructor must build for learners' great cognitive aptitudes. Test performance and approach to instructive evaluation that requires understudy to specifically illustrate that they know and what are able to do through open-ended assignments such as developing a reply, creating an extent, or performing an action. This lesson emphasizes how I test appraisals will offer assistance instructor gauge the level of learner's understanding. Offer assistance, the educator to rectify any student's errors, and give instruction required to move considering and learning alone. That's all for my discussion. Bye for now. Thank you for listening. Hello guys, I'm Lucy Desen and I belong to the group of Giampingan. Today, I will share to you a subtopic in Chapter 5, the Establishing Learning Targets. This is all about the verb of taxonomies of learning. For me, this subtopic is so interesting because the verbs indicate the skills performance level of the student. So, as a future educator, it's really important to us to have knowledge about the verb taxonomies of learning, especially the word verb, because this might help us to determine our future students' skills, performance level, understanding, learning inside the classroom. Also, the verb of taxonomies of learning, also known as Bloom Taxonomy. It is a method created by Benjamin Bloom to categorize the level of personal skills that students use for active learning. Lastly, we should put in mind that the verb help us visually see the type of performance we are looking for. So it is important to select the verb that align to the expected skills. That would be all. Thank you.